Hey guys, it's Tony here again, and kind of hitting you up with a surprise midweek, well not really midweek, almost end of the week video. Uh, this is a surprise for me, and I'll tell you the whole story. I told you guys, if you watched my last week of video, that my summer hunting, collecting was done. My summer break is officially over. And today, surprise, surprise, one of my teaching friends that I teach with, and I'm still wearing my MHS polo, because we just had open house tonight, um, but he literally, 30 minutes before school starts, and I was actually planned and ready to go, so he, you know, I was ready uh, beforehand, um, he shows up with a box. A box and we've been talking about this for about a year or so um, but he told me and he's kind of an older guy older than me and he told me that he had a bunch of games old old games um, Atari games Nintendo Super NES which some of the Super NES stuff is still on its way uh, so that'll be exciting but he brought me basically like the first batch today. And I'm pretty stoked about this. Um, and there's some stuff in here I already have. There's some stuff in here that I'm going to do label upgrades on. And some stuff I've actually been looking for for a very long time. Um, and I'm pretty excited to do that. I also have just a very small thrift store pick up and here uh thrift store lately has been kind of ho-hum but it it, it it ebbs and flows usually at the beginning of the summer when people are getting rid of their junk getting rid of their stuff i see a lot more and when people are having yard sales and stuff and they just want to get rid of their stuff um so it's kind of going down this is normal i i see this pattern quite a bit so let me get some the non-gaming stuff um and th this is all, except for one thing, this is all thrift store stuff. And there's actually a couple of games in here that are thrift store finds that I'll, I'll point out. There's only like two games in there. Um, but this is cool. This is, um, it's kind of beat up. Now that I look at it, maybe I shouldn't have bought it, but oh well. Maybe I'll just let my nephews play with it, but it is... Um, a shuttlecraft from Star Trek, and Price was right. It is a '92 one, so I'm assuming that that's next generation. Um, I think '92. Yeah, it it would have been next generation. It came with this random figure. I don't know what he's from. Um, you tell me. So that's cool. That's random. I got this too, just because of uh, Board James and seeing what he did. And I never actually really played with these as a kid. And I honestly got it more for my nephews to play with. But it's Domino Rally, it's racing. So I got that mainly for them, but for me too. Uh, I got this just because honestly I see it sometimes. And I've uh, been wanting to get it for a while. Um, haven't really opened it up too much to look. But it's uh, Lord of the Rings Rift. It's a trilogy edition. That's really cool. I actually just watched the trilogy like last week, so it's kind of fitting. And I like Risk. Risk is hard to set up, hard to play, but it's it's fun. Risk on the Sega Genesis. That's a great game. Um, now this was a gift. He was gifted to me, and it's, he told me, you know, it's in a little rough shape on the inside but it's complete 
This is an Avalon Hill game. A little before my time. Okay. A little before my time. A little round top. This is 82, actually. Um, Avalon Hill was like the tabletop game of choice back then. Uh, like the D&D craze and all that stuff. So that's cool. Um, my other non-gaming stuff I'll get to. It's kind of buried underneath my pile of games I got. But I'll start off with manuals. And yeah, this is a bunch of Atari stuff. Joust. Mouse trap, which yeah, it's there. It's just really thin. Desert Falcon. Asteroids, which I already have that manual. This is really cool because this is one of my favorite games. I want to get a complete in box. Solaris. One of the best games on the Atari 2600. Super Football. A <laughs> 90 day warranty for Atari. That's cool. And it's the Sunnyvale address. 82. Okay, yeah, it's not the original batch. Uh, Battlezone, which I own sealed. Complete. Uh, factory seal. Uh, this is a space shuttle manual. I'll try to be a little bit quicker here. Kung Fu Master, which I own. Decathlon. Super Breakout. Tax Avoiders, which is cool. Uh, Star Raiders. I uh, don't know what that is. Atari 2600 manual, Taz, which it's a little beat up, but it's fine, Pele's Championship Soccer, some more Atari stuff, warranty stuff, you don't care about that, Jungle Hunt, Breakout, uh, Astro Blaster, Yeah, which I don't know why it's folded like that, but I think it was supposed to be like that. Crystal Castles. Venture. And I'm kind of giving away a bunch of, you know, the game, basically um, the games I'm, I got. Track, this is cool. Trackball Controller. Which he said he had, and this is not in that lot. California Games. Which I'm more familiar with California Games on the NES. Tom Cat, uh, Winter Games, Crawl, <laughs> Congo Bongo, which I actually have this manual. Haunted House, oh man, I love Haunted House. It's one of my favorite games. <laughs> More warranty crap, and then Circuit Satori. That's really cool. I love me some manuals. All the time. Let's get to our first little stack here. Wow. Okay, I'm going to try to move pretty quick here. G.I. Joe. Cobra Strike. I do not have that one. I do not have this variant breakout. I do not have this variant. Warlords. Here's Casino. Night Driver, which I own. Football, which who doesn't own that? And triplicate. Demons to diamonds. I might have a late this might be a label upgrade. Uh, Super Football, which that one's actually a little bit harder to find. I like these red labels. Mouse Trap, Enduro, Circus Atari, which I own. 
Astro Blaster, which I own. Riddle of the Sphinx, which I do not own. Video Olympics, which I do own. Super Breakout, which I do own. Vanguard. Vanguard. Luther destroys the gone. I played this game in my summer school class. There was a kid named Luther in there. No joke. And I showed them the video. The kids ate it up. Luther loves that. That kid named Luther. It's so cool. I love it when I get to share video games with my kids. Uh, next stack here. We got Mario Brothers. I've been looking for that. That's that's so cool. I have it on 5200. Basketball. Who doesn't own that? I own it. And I have another copy of Solaris. That's cool. Uh, Berserk. Uh, Spider-Man, which I already own. This is cool. I don't own this. Roll. Random game. It's a Parker Brothers game. Do not own this. I've been wanting to get it for a while. Tutankhamun. And Defender. I own Defender already. So there's some games in here that's like man I've been wanting. Like that Mario Brothers and Toon Kamun. I was like, yeah, I gotta get it. Next stack, I got a lot of games to show you guys. Chopter, Chopper Attack, Command. Someone said attack. I don't know if I have this on a 2600. Joust. I have this. Baseball. I don't have this. Maze Craze. There's some games I'm like, yeah, I don't have this. I don't have this. Planet Patrol. And it's in the weird, funky style. Spectra Vision. I love Spectra Vision. Donkey Kong, which I already own. Decathlon, which I don't own. Activision. Winter Games, which I don't own. Surround, oops, I do own this. California Games, I do not own. Next stack here, Space Shuttle. I might own this, but I don't own this variant. Bowling, which I don't own that variant. Haunted House, which I do own. Missile Command, which I do own. This is really radical. I've been looking for it. Taz. It's actually a really fun game. Venture. I don't own it. I own a 2600. That's cool. This, I'm glad to have because I needed a label upgrade. Yard's Revenge. And this is like pristine. I love Yard's Revenge. You know, it's like every summer I have to refigure out how to play it. I don't understand that. Jungle Hunt, I do own that. Demon Attack, don't own it. Moon Patrol, I might have to do a label upgrade. Mine might be a little funky, I don't know. I'm moving pretty quick here. Pretty brisk. This is cool. I don't own it. Tom Cat. You might not be able to see it very well. It's like a yellow um, tinted coloring. Dan Kitchens. <laughs> Crystal Castles. Which I do own. So I have a label of great. Congo Bongo. It's a little beat up, but I'll take it. Sega. Combat. Combat on the Atari 2600. Yep. I might just keep this. This is really radical. 
Gangster Alley. Yeah, another Spectra Vision game. Those, those are cool, man. Uh, I own this sealed. I don't think I have a loose copy, so that's cool. River Raid. Who doesn't own that? This is a little beat up. Dragonfire. Fire. And, uh, this is like the only one that was rough. These cats are still pretty good. Full position. Own it. I don't own this. Cellar Track. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, one more stack of Atari games, and I'm almost done. Uh, he told me this is really rare. I looked it up. I don't know. And it's not really coming up as, like, all too rare. Uh, tax avoiders. So I might do a little bit of research. I don't know. I'll check it out. I'll check out the game, and I'll see what the hubbub is about. Skydiver? I don't own that. Phoenix? I do own that. Desert Falcon? I do not own that. Kung Fu Master? I do own that. Slot Racers? I do not own that. <coughs> Kangaroo? I own it. Need a label upgrade. Indy 500. And this is a great title to end on my Atari stuff. I've been looking for this uh, ever since AVGN did a review on it. Uh, I need the NES game, too, that he did a review on. But it's Frankenstein's Monster. He actually did it uh, when he did the Halloween review. So check it out. This is this is radical. It's cool to have in my collection. Now let's get to like the cream of the crop here. Uh, before that, just uh, here's the thrift store stuff I was talking about. Frogger Adventure. Um, Two fifty. Future Tactics. Xbox. And uh, Gears of War 2, which I didn't own. So, so look, I'm adding, I'm adding an Xbox game to my collection. Woo-foo, right? <laughs> um, now, the cream of the crop and uh, this pickup. Okay. And I'm really stoked. I actually already own the game on this one. But I don't have a complete in box. Now I do. Donkey Kong Country. And it's like the box is immaculate. And you're going to have a few little seams here and there. But I got Donkey Kong Country complete in box now. That's cool. Yeah, there's tape on it, but oh well. So that's really, really cool. Now this is neat. I saw this at the Missouri Game Con, and uh, I was like this close to picking it up, because I hadn't seen it in the wild in a long, long time, um, but I'm glad I did not pick it up, because I got this, Robocop versus Terminator, Super NES, and it's one of the most, it is probably the most unique case in the library. Because it's a plastic shell. And when I was a kid, every time I went into the rental store, even if I didn't want to rent the game, I picked up this and they had they had the boxes all lined up and the game like behind it. Or no, you would take the empty box to the front and then they'd have the games behind. But this game I always picked it up and I just I was like, oh man, that's really that's really weird looking cool and I always had to feel it very textual okay it was a very very cool marketing thing but I'm sure that that cost them a pretty penny to do back in the day and it does have a paper back to it and it 
just to show you guys it comes out like that and here's the game which I do not own it's really cool and it's complete this manual which I actually have this complete on the Sega Genesis so that's kind of cool I have both this is the one I've been looking for or I saw and I wanted <laughs> And it's like immaculate. Well, guys, uh, that's it. My summer just keeps getting better and better. And this guy, he told me that he has more Super NES stuff. It's NES stuff. And I think he's going to follow through. I think he's going to follow through and go forward with it. Um... Really cool to get this on the first day of school when, you know, man, the oh, health first day of school. It's always stressful. Stressful on the teachers, the students, the parents. It is. Okay. And to get this little bit of a nugget, you know, man, it just makes the day much better. So big shout out to my friend, who I will not name, <laughs> uh, teacher friend. So that's really cool. Hey, guys, I, I hope you've been enjoying this content. And I'm going to try to keep going as much as I can into the school year. The videos may or may not be sporadic. Um, depending on my schedule. Depending on wrestling. I'm a coach. Depending on school, after school activities that I have. I'm going to keep this channel going regardless. At least one video a week. That's my goal. If it's a live stream or if it's a pickup video. Even if it's like a five minute pickup video. I'll do it. Okay, this one is just kind of a hidden thing. I was really, really stoked about it. That's why I did this on the first day of school, for me, at least. Hey, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. I need subscribers! Please. <laughs> um, and I promise you we're going to get some more content out, better content, better quality content, out near in the near future. Stevie! But hey, guys, I really hope you finish out your week strong, okay? Um, enjoy uh, time with friends, family, co-workers, whatever, okay? Enjoy what you do. Uh, don't be captured in something that you hate, okay? Change it. Change something in your life if you do not like it, okay? Have a great rest of your week. Guys, thanks for watching. Catch you later.